All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahusha, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's just says, Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, I want to go on this topic of learn how to sink or swim but on your own before seeking help. Okay? And it's a spiritual lesson, you know. Um, basically, before you go and get help, you need to know and exhaust all your options, you know. Which your option should be to have faith in your Abbasmi al Always, 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 always. Okay? And before... Um, or during adversity, okay, you should you should make sure that you handle things that you can handle. And you leave the things that you can't handle up to the Lord, okay? Now, I want to play this video, okay, about um, the title of it. It says, Babies Thrown Into Water to Teach Them Survival Skills. Okay, so you got to know how to survive on your own. And I'm going to just play this video. This little clip is 40 seconds. Okay. So, as you can see, okay, this child, this baby, okay, was thrown in the water, okay? It says these babies are thrown into the water and left to recover and float to the surface, okay? Now on the third one, the baby ended up getting it. They understood what they had to do. It says why? Okay? Well, it's to teach them survival skills. They start off really young at just six months and the babies are, are floating man you know floating up to the to the uh, top this is how you teach a baby okay it says after all the fight is for survival it is an important one okay so the babies are learning how to swim okay on their own and if a child can do it you know is this is just an example if a child can do it why can't uh, a, a grown person man okay spiritually Okay. Now, like I said, you gotta learn how to sink on your sink or swim on your own before um before uh you seek help. Okay, because the person in the back, they're not gonna allow this baby to um to uh to, to just drown, you know? And if and if the baby is sinking, you know, or, or swimming, then that's a good thing because they know what to do. They know how to get through those things, you know, that, 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 um, it's wisdom, okay? And it stays with them, okay? It's a survival instinct that, that just kicks in, okay? And people don't understand. Let me get that word survival, okay? See what pops up. The state or fact of continuing to live or exist typically in spite of an accident or deal or difficult circumstances okay so through different difficult circumstances okay which we're we're going to go through difficult circumstances in this truth okay you got to know how to survive on your own okay um see what the Miriam webster says the act or fact of living or continuing longer than another person or thing the continuance of life or existence, okay, and um, and this truth is a whole total different life, okay. So you gotta know how to continue to to live in this truth, okay. I'm not talking about in this world, but in this truth, yet you, you need to know how to live and exist in this truth on your own before you go and just seek help, okay. Because for one, that shows that you don't have no um. No faith, man. Okay. This is uh Psalms 
118 and 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Okay? It's better to trust in the Lord than to put, put confidence in a man. Okay? And that's one of the mindsets that we need to have. Okay? And it's truth. You know, hey, the Lord is with me. No matter what I go through, it might be your, your own mother or whatever the case may be. They, they're not going to always be able to come come through for you because they're going through stuff themselves, man. You know? And then you might go through stuff and they don't even want to help you out. You know? So then what? If, if nobody, if you end up being homeless for this truth, okay, was you just going to lose the faith? No, your faith should grow in, 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 in the Lord, okay? No matter what you lose, okay? This is uh, 1 Timothy 5 and 8. But if any provide not for his own, especially for those of his own house, he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Okay, so as a man, we're supposed to be able to provide for our own, Okay? At the end of the day, you have to do what it takes for you to get up on them chariots, okay, to get salvation. What, what the next man does, okay, he, he, if they're working out their own salvation, of course they'll help you out, but they don't, that don't mean that they're helping you out every time, okay? That, that at the drop of a, uh, um, uh, at the, um, the sense of any adversity popping up, you know that they supposed to just jump at jump at every um thing that comes your way in your own life. That's not realistic, okay? And it's and it's truth that's not realistic. And I'm gonna get into that, Lord willing, about you know when when you go through adversity, what the mindset of another person should have, but the mindset that you should have more so than the next person. Is that you got to make sure that you do do what it takes to survive in this truth, okay? You got to provide for your own. You got to study. You got to you got to um, in 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 the um, you got to go to work, okay? You got to you got you got your own path that you have to to follow, okay? When you when you um, and you know what's what's good for you and what's not good for you. Okay, so these are the things that you know people need to put in their mind. Okay, and it's truth. Galatians six and ten. As we therefore have opportunity, therefore, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Okay, so when the opportunity presents itself, of course, a uh, uh, um. A man of the Lord is gonna gonna um, do good unto um, a, a, a man that's in his faith, man. Okay, a brother, a straight up brother. Okay, when that opportunity comes up, you know, brothers supposed to, you know, if if they're real brothers, okay. And I'll speak for myself, okay. If a brother says that he's hungry, you know. And he's just probably, you know, down and out or whatever. I'm going to be like, oh, hey, here you go, brother. You know? And just look out for him because that opportunity was presented onto me. Okay? Now, if a brother says, yo, I'm about to get kicked out of my house in about uh, eight months. I need a spot to go to. Can I come over to your house, you know, in eight months? You know what my answer going to be? No. You know why? Because you need to find out in them eight months, you need to, to learn and you need to have faith and find out what you're going to do. Now, if you need help through the process of trying to get a, a spot, then I'll help you out. Okay? I have no problem with doing that. But in this faith, you as a, a man, okay, you got to do what this scripture says. Provide for your own, especially day of your own house. Okay? Now, if the opportunity was there, then then I'm going to, to, to help you out. You got to prove yourself in this truth, man. Okay? Especially a, a newer 
uh, uh, brother, okay? Ecclesiasticus 6 and 7. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. Okay? So, so a new person, of course, we know that in this truth, newer brothers are going, going to come into this truth. Okay? And they're going to they gonna um come in with, you know, different types of problems and stuff like that. Some brother may have uh, women problems. Some brother may have uh, money problems or financial problems. Okay? A brother may need um, a ride to and from uh, uh, wherever. But that brother has to make sure that before you even try to ask for a ride. Okay? That you exhaust all your options. Okay? And if he's a real brother, okay, and you're trying to get a ride, then you should have the mindset, okay, I'm a real brother, okay, and I'm getting a ride, so let me put some gas into the, the brother car, you know, or let me make sure that this brother eats, okay, or, or that this brother is good because he's looking out for me, okay, so I'm going to look out for him. This is a brotherhood, man. Okay, but a new person coming to his truth, you don't expect them to, to just straight up understand that. Okay, and and um, that's one of the problems that we had with, with that, that um, premature scoffer. The guy who claimed that he was in Great Millstone, he was mad that brothers didn't um, just jump at his every problem. And now here, here he is scoffing. Against Great Millstone, and he wasn't really in the faith. Okay, well, do what you got to do first, and then, you know, you as you show that you 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 you're uh, trying, then we'll we'll uh, you know help you out. But you're not just gonna come up just because you got problems, and just fix everything that's that's on your plate. That's not realistic, man. You gotta have faith in your heart by seeing your side, and that's ultimately. What this really is, man. Okay, it's just um, James one and two. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, and you're gonna come to them, dip them different temptations, okay, in different ways, man. Okay, you're supposed to be counting, counting it happy, you know that, cause, cause this stuff is supposed to make you uh fall, you know. But but get back up again, okay? Like like the um, scriptures say, okay, um, a, a righteous man, okay, for a just man falls seven times and rises up again, okay. So we're going to fall into the, the the temptations. It says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith works patience, okay. So them temptations and 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 being in them waters, them tribulations, okay. That's uh your faith being tested. The seeing whether whether you have patience or not. Okay? The moment that something comes up on your plate, you automatically trying to find the 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 um the the uh a way to, to get that problem solved through other brothers rather than trying to find out on your own. Okay, that's that's off, okay? It says um but let patience have her perfect work work that you may be perfect an entire one and nothing and and you got to know that having faith that you know if you're doing what you have to do and you have faith in y'all but okay whether whether the lord gets you through that on your own and he teaches you how to swim on your own okay or he allow another brother to to, to help you out and come through for you do you know that at the end of the day what the scriptures say that you may be perfect and entire one and nothing that what you thought you was wanting at that point in time it's not going to be you, a, a, after you have patience okay when when you actually get that um that reward from the lord for having patience okay it's going to be like yo what the heck was i um going through that for you know what what was i you know bitching about before it's going to be like out your mind. And that's also when, when Yahweh Shah returns, okay, by us having patience and us 
um, learning how to sink or swim, okay, and the Lord um, reaches down and picks us up, okay, they, you know, we're going to, we're going to be in the kingdom and we're going to be like, yo, like I was really struggling and, 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 uh, sad about those type of things. I'm good now. I don't have, I don't need nothing. Okay. Now I got this precept. Okay. Which is, goes along with the lesson, Matthew 14 and 26. And when the disciples saw him walking on a sea, they were troubled saying it is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway, Yahweh Shah spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto you in, on, on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go with, to Yahweh Shah. Okay, so Peter, you know, he, was, he, he thought he had the confidence, okay. To, to walk on the water, you know, to, to, to go to Yahweh right? It says, but when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Yahweh stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? Okay. So, so if Peter would have, you know, he saw that he was sinking. Okay. If he would have just had the mindset like, Hey, I'm, I'm going through hell right now. Okay. And I'm apply apply it to today. Okay. I'm going through, through hell right now, but, um, I'm gonna learn how to sink. Okay. The moment that, 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 um, that you start sinking. Okay. Now all of a sudden. You, you you get scared, okay? You want you want somebody to help you out, you know? Or or, or you start losing faith. If Peter would have known that the Lord was right there, man, Yahweh Shah was right there, and Yahweh Shah said, "Why did you doubt?" So a person that's just going straight to somebody else, okay, for help before they even go to Yahweh Shem Yahweh and they lose their patience. Why is you doubting, man? Okay, it says, and when they were, were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Okay, this is Proverbs 17 and 17. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. So, uh, uh, when you, when you, if you hungry, okay, you might, you might have came, came, like, you know, we got, some brothers get paid every week, some brothers get paid every two weeks. Okay, different brothers got different things on their plate. You might come up on a situation where you might be hungry. Okay, but you you don't get paid till Friday. And I say it's a Wednesday. You know, your mindset should be okay. Well, if I gotta eat, even though we don't uh, push that, but if I gotta eat a pack of noodles, you know that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, and if a brother heard that, he'd be like eating noodles. What? Man, I ain't gonna let you eat no goddamn on noodles, man. You know? Huh, here goes some money, man. You go ahead and go get you go get you some food, man. You know? That's a real brother, man. Okay? But you shouldn't be coming, okay? And that begging that begging for bread type of thing. Okay? This is Psalm 35 and 25. 37 and 25. I have been young and now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Before you even, you know, came upon trying to help things out, you automatically, hey man, I'm hungry, man. Like, you know, can brothers do this for me? And you know? And so I I I had a situation where um somebody was was asking me to buy them food and they didn't even couldn't even tell me about their situation, man. You know? You asking me to buy you food and you couldn't even tell me what was going on, man. You know? But it says a, a friend loves at all times. He's going to tell you, he, hey, you ask for that food, he might tell you, hey, man, you need to slow down on some stuff, man. But, hey, man, you got it. Uh, it, 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 it that, that love ain't always going to be that, you know, oh, here you go, here you go, here you go. 
You know, you might get get that get it, but he gonna tell you some 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 shit that go along with it too, man. You know, and that's a part of love too because he's looking out for you, man. Okay. Um. It says a friend loves at all time, and a brother is born for adversity. And one of the examples of a brother that was born for adversity is uh, Jonathan, man. Okay, when King David was uh, was running from uh, was from King Saul. Okay, and the 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 moment that Jonathan had the opportunity. Okay, is therefore is we therefore have opportunity. Okay, let us do good unto all men, especially them who are of the household of faith. Okay, so when 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 uh, Jonathan saw the opportunity to help out King David in order to help him escape from his father, he 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 helped him out, man. And that's a that's a true sign of brotherhood, man. Okay. First Samuel 26 and 16, 23 and 16. And Jonathan, uh, Saul's son, arose and went to David into the wood and strengthened his hand in Yahweh by Samuel Sa. It says, And he said unto him, Fear not, for the hand of Saul, my father, shall not find you. And thou shalt be king over Israel, and I shall be next unto you. And that also Saul, my father, knows. And they too made a covenant before the the Lord and David abode in the wood and Jonathan went to his house. Okay. So Saul, okay. was I mean, Jonathan was hot, you know, his, his, uh, King David, man. Okay. And, and his, he knew his father went to kill him, man. This is John 15 and 13. Greater love have no, no, have Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Okay? And that's how you know who is really down for you, man. When you're going through hell and you got that that um that one brother. Okay, because that's what this 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 brotherhood is for, man. Okay? Brothers laying down their lives, man, for their friends, man. Okay? But you ain't gonna just straight have a brother come lay down his life to for you. Okay, and you ain't you know you ain't even try to try to get get shit done on your own, man. Okay, you ain't try to handle it on your own, but you you running scared. You ain't have the faith in y'all about some y'all side, man. Like I, rem I I remember a situation in my camp, the, the the GMS Baltimore camp. Okay, the um the brother um Karat is about in my camp. He could tell the story a little better, okay? But um basically the um old uh camp leader in the camp, he um he was dealing with this woman. And uh this woman she tried to get one of her family members on the um on to fight him, okay? So it was only one of the 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 the, the uh the, the family members of the, the um of this woman okay so what happened was um the old camp leader had called um Karatazaba and his son over in order to uh you know because they was bigger and um had them looking you know standing right there Okay, not knowing what they was getting themselves into, okay, he, he just said, hey, come over here, I need need your help, but he, he had told them to come over, and basically, they they went over there, not knowing what they was getting themselves their self into, but the whole time when they came over there, that's when he started getting bold, and started cussing out the woman, and, and, um, and the, 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 the nigga ain't do nothing. You know, because he was looking like, hey, you know, this guy, you know, these guys probably end up beating me up. You know? And it was just one of them guys. One of her family members. But the point is that this the, the, the old camp leader didn't have the faith, man. Okay? He didn't he didn't uh go go through um you know the, the motions of, of actually 
you know, dealing with the situation on his own to try to, you know, fight the guy. You know, if it, if it boiled down to that, he didn't have the, the guts to do that, to actually have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. The moment that he, he, he saw the opportunity to call somebody before he learned how to sink or swim, okay, he called a brother and tried to put that brother on who, who he, that Karat is buying his son. You know, they was going, you know, if it boils down to, of course, they was going to help him out. You know, or, 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 or um, I should say, um, get rid of the situation, you know, the bad blood, okay, as much as they possibly can. But they, of course, they're going to lay down their lives, you know, because they brothers. But but him, you know, he went, if, if, if they would have called him, he wouldn't have been there. You can't you can't abuse the brotherhood like that, man. You can't do that. Okay? And that's the point, man. Don't don't abuse help just because you feel as though that you need help. Learn how to get through things on your own, man. Okay? So with that, you know, um Lord willing this was edifying. I want to say shalom till next time.